Our new touring car features some new flex options built into the kit, which I will now demonstrate how they work and how you can use them to change the car settings for different track conditions. So what's new when it comes to flex options on the T421? The chassis still comes in three varieties. The aluminum flex for uh, most carpet conditions, the solid aluminum for high grip carpet conditions, and we also have the graphite chassis which is um, best suited for asphalt racing. The kit features a new top deck which is now narrower in the front and we found that this shape of top deck improved the handling, it improved the corner speed, uh, gave the car more steering at the center of the corner. So this is a big benefit for our most conditions we felt, that's why we decided to, to put it in the kit. So that's now the standard shape top deck. As you can see the motor mount has been updated as well with a new design. Uh, the center post is now integrated with a, with a motor mount. So we got rid of any centering issues or the problem with the post sometimes getting loose or falling out. It's now a one piece uh, motor mount solution which also has a built in battery backstop right there. And this works really well. It's a bit stiffer than the previous motor mount. But it also has the nice feature of the ability to connect the, the rear T-brace with the motor mount. And this makes the car really stiff in this area. So it's a really good option for whenever you need to stabilize the car and make it really easy to drive. Especially in uh, chicanes or tracks where you have a lot of fast direction changes. This, this screw which you can add here, it really makes the car a lot easier to drive. So I recommend to, to work with that and see what it does for you. And also the shape of the T-brace has been changed a little bit. It's now a bit narrower in the rear. We got rid of the outer screw holes because nobody really used those anyway. So this leaves more space on the chassis for, uh, for the electronics or for weights. You can add weights here, you can add the ESC capacitor um, you can still use these side screws with trims underneath to stiffen up the T-brace, but the T-brace has been made a lot smaller, which makes it look better and gives more space on the chassis. Those are the main updates to the flex. Uh, test the solution with the screw connected to the T-brace. It makes a really big difference for the handling and it's a really good option for, uh, for, for many conditions and i'm sure that you'll you'll feel the benefits from the new top deck as well and just like in the past we still have the option for three different flex solutions for the top deck we have the full stiff option which is seen here is the uh, bushing which makes the top deck uh, pretty stiff this will give the most stable car with the least rotation but the most predictable handling but we also have the um, the option which is in between, which is, is to use a ball bearing. And you fit the ball bearing in there. It's an option in between, so the car can still flex from side to side, but it still maintains the stiffness in this direction, which gives the car good forward bite, but still uh, more rotation than the bushing would give. And obviously you still have the option as well to remove it completely for the softest possible setting. This is the most aggressive, but keep in mind that you'll lose a little bit of forward bite when you make the topic softer in all directions. So that's it. Um, so it's still gonna be one of our main uh, tuning options on the T421, because it's something you can change really quickly when you're track side and uh, something that you can play with in between runs. Make sure that you, you'll utilize that opportunity on the T421 as well. So a couple of useful tips which I would like to add to the flex option is the possibility to remove these two screws here uh, near the spur gear in the motor mount. When you remove these two screws, you'll allow the car to flex more in this area. 
which mainly affects the traction of the car, uh, especially on power. So removing these two screws gives the car a lot more grip, especially on power. It locks in the rear more, makes the car easier to drive. You lose a little bit of steering response because obviously it'll be softer, but it's, um, it's a big benefit for low to medium grip conditions, especially. And I really recommend this for asphalt racing and for lower grip carpet racing, even for medium grip carpet racing, actually. And it's widely used by the team. So I recommend you to play around with these um, motor mount uh, flex option settings. And another thing which is really critical and really sensitive is the T-brace setting. So as I mentioned earlier, you can you can add these two screws on the sides to stiffen up the T-brace. Because the stiffer the T-brace, the less rotation and the more stable the car. So if you remove the T-brace completely, you'll have a very aggressive car with a lot of off-power steering and a lot of rotation. But that can sometimes be too much. It can be difficult to handle. So what I then recommend often to the customers is to, to remove this rearward screw here in the T-brace. You remove this screw and you'll replace it with a with a set screw or a grub screw. And remember to add a bit of a medium strength tread lock to this screw so that it doesn't come out when you're racing so that it doesn't ruin the carpet for example if you're running on carpet. Uh, put it in there with medium strength tread lock. Adding this set screw allows the T-brace to flex more at the back, but it still maintains some benefits of having the T-brace there. So it's something in between having no T-brace and having both screws connected. So it's a really nice option which is in between and that I recommend you to test for different tracks as well.